My archaeological team actually is very unique because I'm the only archaeologist and other members are computer scientists, software engineers and applied mathematicians. We are like a crime scene investigation. We patiently document with latest technology the construction technique of pyramids. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most exciting experiences in my academic life. That is climbing the Great Pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fascinated by pyramids, Egypt, uh, since the time of you know, junior high school. But the reason why I climbed the pyramid is not just you know, fascination. The purpose of the climbing of the pyramid for archaeologists is to obtain data. So the traditional approach uh, to the study of ancient Egypt is like you know, jigsaw puzzle. We archaeologists collect the data from the excavation site and then start to describe the past. But as a consequence, actual survey data is less frequently updated. This is particularly true for the pyramid at Giza. And also, such traditional documentation is done by line drawing, which does not represent actual state of the monument. Such archaeological uh, documentation only focuses on external part of the pyramid and inner space, such as chamber and uh, you know, the space and the corridor. So no observation of the core of the pyramid has been made, surprisingly. There's a three kind of you know, the hypothesis. Probably you know, the core of the pyramid may consist of horizontally arranged block, or uh, some Egyptologists believe maybe it has a step pyramid. Or the core may be built by what we call an acceleration layer. But we don't know which is true. The importance of the study of the core structure would be related to the construction technique, namely the type of the lamp ancient Egyptian employed. For example, if Ramp is straight, maybe this is suitable for uh, setting arranged block. Or if a pyramid has a core step, uh, probably you know, zigzag lamp would be you know, the easily set on the core step. Or if pyramid has a layer, uh, we call it a spiral enveloped lamp, would be appropriate for that. But we don't know which is correct. But luckily, there's a place we can actually observe the core structure of the pyramid, but which is located 80 meters from the ground. So you have to actually climb up the pyramid. It was a you know, the quite experience for me, because this is an ancient monument. You have to climb without piton and the safety rope. After two and a half hours, so we reached this area. This is a half open space called a notch. And interestingly, this notch has a kind of, you know, a crevice in the west. So that led to another small open space called Cape. So we really wanted to document this area. However, we could not actually bring any surveying equipment, such as, you know, laser scanner, because laser scanner is heavy and big. But we had to somewhat uh, make archaeological documentation with video footage. My archaeological team uh, actually is very unique because I'm the only archaeologist and other members are computer scientists, software engineers, and applied mathematicians. And the computer scientist came up with idea to employ structure from motion technique. So this technique allows you to stitch image from the video footage for the reconstruction of our study area. 20 minutes video footage was spread into 300,000 image frame. And this is our result. So this is the first recording of the, these areas. So let's compare our data with previous theories. So whether this is horizontally arranged block or stepped core or layer. So this is a also photographic section uh, produced from our 3D data. As you can see here, it shows totally different structure. And you may wonder, 
what this, you know, the cave like? So I presume this is a place ancient Egyptian used for uh, packing, infilling of sand and also debris. This is actually well-known technique in ancient Egypt called uh, chamber method. So which applied to you know, the construction of the temples and the cities and also the pyramid in you know, the late period, the Middle Kingdom pyramids. But this technique accumulates the work in remarkably economical way. But we didn't know this technique uh, actually applied in the Old Kingdom pyramids. Probably this is the first one. So finally, we reached the top of the Great Pyramid after the climbing of five hours. So again, we used the video footage and uh, digital image for structure from motion process and uh, multi-view stereo system. And this is uh, the first detailed uh, plan of the top of the pyramid, which can tell us a lot of information. But by their nature, this image cannot represent 3D information. So again, our computer scientists uh, came up with the idea a uh, new display uh, method of 3D called PKIT. So this is a color distance map, and warmer color means shorter distance from viewer, and the cooler color means longer distance. And the PKIT uh, also can indicate ridge and the valley, which is also very important for archaeological analysis. And finally, uh, this is our 3D data. We are like, you know, a crime scene investigation. We patiently document with latest technology and then began to demonstrate the construction technique of a particular area, such as top of the pyramid and uh, area around the notch and the cave. And I hope I can continue to collect the data uh, of important areas around the pyramid of Giza. So eventually, the reality of the pyramid will be revealed, which also tell us reality of the civilization. Thank you. <laughs>